Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to share with you my three season ultra light overnight packing list. So this is when you want to go really light for one night trip. There are lots of one night trips in New Zealand and uh, you just want to take the bare minimum and you want to be warm in three seasons. So keep in mind this packing list is not for winter. So let's get into it. Starting with the stuff you're wearing, uh, the first thing is the Outdoor Research Swift Cap. Um, this is really good because it has a mesh lining and keeps sweat out of my eyes when I'm walking. Next thing is a sports top. This is just from Puma, um, but it wicks sweat away from my body pretty well and it's really comfortable, so I like this. Next thing is just the underwear I wear. These are a bamboo um, jockey. That's what we call them here in New Zealand. I think elsewhere you call them briefs. So I just wear a pretty generic um, black sport short. And these are a merino blend sock from Point Six. Um, and the next thing would be hiking boots. Uh, these are high tech altitudes, uh, the waterproof lined. Um, in New Zealand, there's a lot of mud, so uh, even in summer, so I like to wear um, proper hiking boots. Uh, I know it's a little bit of extra weight, but um, I really don't feel it on my feet. I think it's worth it. Um, I wouldn't really recommend these ones in particular just because the sole isn't very comfortable. I'd go for something with a Vibram outsole because I've used it before and it's been it's been much more comfortable. But I like the way these look and I like that they're leather, so they're extra solid. Oh, by the way, I use the S23 Ultra. It has a really good battery, so um, you'll find out later I don't take a battery bank. Um, not something that I'm worried about. I just charge up in the car on the way to the um, start of the hike. And now we've got the backpack I use, which is the MacPack Amp 40 liter. Um, really good bag. I've modified it a bit. I've taken, it had some like webbing down the side, which I've taken off. It has a quite breathable back um, and hip belt pockets and generally just a pretty lightweight uh, construction. Uh, yeah, it's pretty waterproof and it only weighs 880 grams before I did the modifications. So yeah, not bad. One thing that is annoying is uh, this uh, chest strap. It's just on this rail and it often pops up, pops off. So I need to do something about that. It's not made by MacPack anymore, as you can see, it's the old logo. Um, but they do have one that's similar called the Hesper, which is, um, I know a few people who have it and it's meant to be really good. But yeah, great bag, hope it lasts me a long time. And I should say, um, lots of stretch pockets, side, front, and top. Um, these stretch pockets are so useful. Make sure you get a bag with stretch pockets. The next thing is my pack liner, and I just use a rubbish bag. Um, in New Zealand, we have this brand called Black Sacks, and those are really good for dry bags. I've used this for ages, so it lasts as well. Next thing is the Kathmandu Sauce Water Bladder. It's about two liters, and um, I find that's pretty good to cover me for most um, walks that I do. Now one of the most important items, this is my down sleeping bag and it is the Kathmandu Seeker minus three I believe. Um, as usual minus three is not the true temperature of this bag, it says three. Um, but you'd probably be comfortable down to about five, I'd say. Uh, again, this is a woman's bag. I just got this one because you get a little bit more warmth for the same price, and I'm not that tall, so I don't have to worry about the, the length of the bag so much. 
uh, yeah, the warmth is more important for me. Now, this is my sleeping mat. It's the uh, Bushbuck Cumulus LT R5. Now, R5 is pretty good. I don't think this truly hits R5, but it gets close because um, it's got the Thermolite insulation, if you can see there. Um, but it is still pretty light and it comes with a built-in pillow which is the best thing about this because then I don't have another item to bring and it's pretty comfortable uh, so yeah I've been enjoying this and obviously when I put it in my bag I roll it up but uh, just like sleeping bags when you store them um, just leave them loose much better for them next one is a uh, reflective survival bag kind of like the um, uh, space blankets I think uh, you guys call them and yeah this is just a bit of a safety item and kind of helps your system go down a few more degrees if it's um, unexpectedly cold um, you know just pop this out of the bag haven't had to use it yet so it's still in there now this is my very very simple um, Kmart single wall dome tent um, we don't have access to the really nice uh, cottage brands that uh, people in the states do so yeah it's really expensive to get a uh, ultralight tin imported but um, I've used this a few times it actually has done me really really well and this is uh, 22 New Zealand dollars so it's um, it's incredible I'll put a picture up uh, now one thing I have done with uh, the Kmart 10 is added my own guy lines and uh, replaced the pegs as well uh, for these uh, Y-shaped uh, aluminium pegs and you just get a lot more grab for about the same weight so it's kind of worth it and there's uh, 10 of these in here. Now on to clothing, um, if it rains I have this poncho um, again, I've done a lot of hiking this year and haven't had to use it luckily, so it's still in the bag, but um, you can get a few uses out of these. Um, they'll never ever go back in the bag, that's one thing that you can never do. Um, but yeah, they're so cheap. If you rip it, just replace it, um, and pretty waterproof as well. Covers your bag, which is ideal. Yep, that's that. And here's what I wear for warmth. It's my uh, MacPack Pulsar uh, puffer jacket. And this has uh, Primaloft Gold insulation. And it's a Pertex uh, outer. So good um, kind of weatherproof combination. And I think I will use synthetic more than down just because of that. Um, ability to withstand a bit of moisture and it also packs up really small and it has a hood which I like because I personally hate wearing beanies so it's really important for me to get a jacket with a hood to keep my head warm so yeah and this is what I wear as a mid layer it's just a 100% uh, merino um, quarter zip uh, with long sleeves that you can put your thumb through and this thing's great uh, warmth to weight is incredible but uh, me personally I don't like having wool on my skin I find it really scratchy uh, maybe that's just me I don't like the texture of some clothes so uh, the next item you'll see will be my uh, undergarments and for those I go for polyprop so uh, you'll see them in a second and these are my undergarments. I've got a uh, long sleeve top in uh, medium, and this is uh, polypropylene. These are really cheap and comfortable. Um, the downside with them is they do start to smell, but uh, they're really lightweight, they're great. And here are the bottoms, and these are long johns, and I wear them in a size small. Uh, now for my hands, I wear the uh, MacPack Stretch. Uh, fleece lined glove and these are in the large um, yeah these are great I've used these in actually really really cold conditions and they've been fantastic really good gloves for the price and um, they have these little silicone uh, grips 
on them. And you can see it's starting to wear off a bit on the, the four fingers uh, because I've used them so much. Uh, but yeah, I don't find I need thick gloves to keep my hands warm. So uh, these do for New Zealand for me. Uh, spare underwear and wool socks. Uh, don't need to go into those. Now, my head torch. Uh, this is the Black Diamond Sprint 225. Um, and I've modded this with the paracord uh, for the strap. It's really, makes it really lightweight and it's easy to adjust. The only downside with this is it has the USB micro connection, uh, which annoys me. I wish it was USB-C. Here we have uh, USB headphones and I used to take AirPods, but um, I've heard them uncharged too many times, so now I just bring wired ones. And yeah, it's one less thing to worry about the power for. For cooking, I just have uh, the MacPack uh, Solo Set pot lid here. It's just aluminium, but um, it's pretty lightweight and I really don't see the need to um, upgrade to a titanium one. And in here is my cloth um, microfiber, it's great. And there's the gas canister. And although it's not super light, I just use the 230 gram one because it's the cheapest. It's like four New Zealand dollars. Now, here we have my gas cooker, uh, mini bic. And then, gas cooker is the Optimus Crux. Um, that, the folding one and this has been great for me um, use this for many years never had a problem it's not the lightest out there but again um, don't think it's really worth my investment at the moment for titanium uh, I just keep it in this little bag because uh, the edges can be a little sharp and you don't want it to go through your uh, sleeping bag or your air mattress or something for eating I just got the Cedar Summit um, plastic spork. This thing weighs almost nothing. It's long handle. Um, it's about two dollars to buy and replace. And the reason I like plastic as opposed to aluminium or titanium is because it doesn't scratch up the um, coating of the pot. Um, so that's good. Another thing I carry on me is uh, about four meters of um, paracord and this has multiple uses like you can use it to repair things um, broken shoelace um, you know spare guy line if the one on your tent fails and you can even use it to create a uh, suture so if you had a big wound um, you could pack it with this and then wrap it with the paracord. Uh, I know it's not sterile but it'll be enough to get you out of your predicament. Last but not least I have my toiletry bag in just a clear um, Ziploc bag. Just go through them item by item. Toilet paper uh, just um, rolled up off the roll. You don't need to take the cardboard roll with you. Hand sanitizer, um, fantastic stuff. Always have a bottle of this with you because uh, a lot of the toilets in the dock huts and campsites don't have running water. So you need to use this to um, clean your hands. And a hack is you can actually, <laughs> it's a bit gross, but you can use this on your um, armpits to freshen up after you've been hiking. And um, this particular one is scented too, so that's nice. tabs for water purifying just half an hour and you've got clean water a uh, mozzy patch so this is the lightest solution I could find to um, prevent insects from biting you earplugs you always 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 have to have earplugs because someone's always snoring Blistex SPF 
25, I think, um, chapter. Sun Zapper Zinc Stick. Um, it matches my skin tone, so you don't see it too much. Um, you really need a good heavy uh, sun cream in New Zealand because the UV is really, really bad because of the hole in the ozone layer. Gear repair tape. Uh, this will fix a, um, you know, a hole in your sleeping mat or your jacket or whatever tent stuff to have. Travel toothbrush and travel toothpaste. I tried uh, the tablets, I don't like them, so I just go with this. And a trick with this is you can actually uh, unscrew the lid, push the bigger one onto it, and squeeze it back into the small tube. And uh, I don't cut my toothbrush, it's already pretty small. Um, it's about the size of my hand, and has a bristle protector, which I really like. I think I got that on a plane or something. And here, this is my uh, backup um, form of lighting a fire. Just some matches and the bit of the cardboard box with the striker on it. And lastly, we have a mixture of Panadol, antihistamines, and uh, antacids. So yeah, another thing I have on me is my uh, little Victorinox uh, Classic SD, I think it is. This is the smallest one you can get um, that comes with the scissors. And this would, I would only use these if I had to, um, you know, cut some paracord or cut some repair tape or something. So. Uh, yeah, this attached my keys permanently, which will be in my bag. Uh, you don't really need anything uh, with a blade bigger than that in New Zealand because, um, oh well, unless you're doing bushcraft, because we don't really have any predators that can um, hurt you here, which is nice. We don't have to worry about um, bears or anything like that. So that is everything I take, and it easily fits into this uh, 40 litre bag. I should say um, the total base weight for all of this is uh, floating around 6 kilograms. So I, I reckon that is really good for uh, the money I've spent to put this kit together uh, over the years. Yeah, the only other thing that I would recommend you bring, uh, which I don't personally have because I can't afford it at the moment, is um, a PLB. Just a personal locator beacon in case of uh, emergencies or if you need to help someone else. Uh, pretty important item. But yeah, that's um, that's been everything that I take for um, overnighters in the New Zealand bush. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, comment, would you do anything differently? Uh, I think it's pretty complete. Um, there might be a few areas which um, you think I've gone too light or um, too heavy. Uh, let me know.